Listen, <laughs> I'm in that Atlanta heat, y'all. <laughs> I'm in that Atlanta heat. I'm over here sweating like a dog. <laughs> I had to sit for a second. I said, God damn, I'm hot up in this motherfucker. <laughs> Thank you so much for rocking with it, y'all. Thank you, Codex, Virtual Pride in the building. For those of y'all that joined in uh, for the second half, hold on. Yes, baby. Come on. You are such a baby. Look at this baby. Okay, sit down. All right. So, for those of y'all that joined in, I'm not going to keep it a long because we are on the last one, you know what I mean? Um, I'll just give you a quick, you know, re-up of what we're doing over here. Um, we're doing North Node and South Node Astrology. Hey, Forrest. Hey, y'all that joined in. Candy, what's up, y'all? Incredibly, Eddie Bell. Global Live Connections, what's good, y'all? Ash. I said ass treats, ass treats, ass treats, one of them. Um, um, North Node and South Node Astrology. So, you know, I figured that this is a perfect time, you know, to be uh, talking about this because at this point, you know, especially with everything going on right now, everybody, what can I contribute to? You know, what can I do to help? You know, and I honestly feel like, North Node and South Node Astrology is one of the best ways to kind of tap in and keep the, not only what you were doing in your past life, South Node, um, but also knowing what you've come here to divinely do in your North Node um, and um, kind of like shovel that out. So I've been through all of them. You know, we wrapping up this uh, Virgo, uh, Pisces North Node. Um, my personal North Node is in Sagittarius. Uh, North Node Sagittarius. Uh, South Node, I was about to say Pisces, South Node Gemini. And um, if you have any questions or trying to figure out, like, what is my, um, you know, North Node, South Node, and you and, like, the house place, stuff like that, I do Mars activation. So um, a Mars activation and then combining it with your North Node and South Node to how you can activate the things that you are set out here to do in this life, all right? So we're going to go ahead and wrap it up with Virgo Pisces. And if you have any questions, let me know, all right? So, Virgo and Pisces, all right? So I wrapped it up basically being like, you're going to have to implement routines in this life as a North in in Virgo. Learning how to not just go with the flow of life, but actually setting out things and not just in goals, not just work like your health, you know, because Virgo is the house of health, you know, it, it it wants you to get those routines in order, you know, of um because Pisces has like unlinting like energy of like, go, 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 you know, mutable water. So you need, you need a place to be able to channel this energy, being active, you know, be having like a, a routine that you do maybe for like, you know, 10, 30 minutes a day every day to kind of get that energy, you know, out or you know, Pisces is a very in and in yourself. Pisces is very, very, very. So doing things to, you know, paint and, and draw and write and music and doing all these things. Like, uh, Go ahead. Um, I don't know what. See, she don't want to be with me unless I'm giving her all the attention. Women. You know what? <laughs> That's why I'm single now. Shit. <laughs> Real shit. Real shit. Anyway, um, anyway, <laughs> all right. So we move over to the uh, South Node. So basically, the South Node, not having okay. You know, you're the fish. It's the fish that you know. And, and, and what's interesting, um, I watched this astrologer. Her name is OJC Astrology. She's amazing. If y'all ever get to see OJC Astrology on YouTube, it's fucking. Amazing. Incredible. This is a plug, not a paid ad. Um, she talks about Pisces being this fit and how every other has some type of way 
to defend itself, but Pisces is the fit. You know, the ram, the ram got his horns, the bull got his horns, I, uh, Gemini has a twin, you know what I'm saying? Cancer has a crab pants. Uh, Leo has the, you know, the, the lion. Virgo is the maiden. Uh, 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 a Libra has the scales. You can smack the shit out of somebody. You know what I mean? Scorpio is the, the scorpion. Um, Sagittarius is the centaur. Capricorn is the goat. You can stomp the shit out of somebody. You know, knuck them. Knuck a few knuck if you want to. You know what I'm saying? Aquarius is the water barrier. Aquarius. Aquarius. It's Aquarius. And then Pisces is the fish. So Pisces, you know, can be defenseless in a lot of it. You know, so you you have to be able as a Virgo North node to establish clear cut boundaries. You know, Pisces because it's connected to the collective, it wants to let everybody in. You know, it's it's waters run so deep that unconditional love runs so deep that it's like, oh, I see you. I love you. Like I, I know it might not be our brother, but still, there's there's a gentle love there when you come to Pisces because Pisces is the ascendant masters of the zodiac. When you go through all twelve signs, you Pisces. Pisces is the epitome of all twelve signs in one. It's a god. It's very very godly. It's very closely associated and connected to God and Jesus and whatever you know. Um, um, you know, upper echelon. You want to talk about you know it's the future but, but i'll get to see pisces north i just have i love pisces okay you know what i'm saying i'm not saying it's because i'm biased or nothing i just i fucking love i don't meet too many pisces they're just there's such an angelic nature of the and it's wow yeah we'll get to it but anyway um living a uh, free basically using your free time to of it you know like you know uh you have a south node Pisces you just freely willy giving all out of your body. and the energy you should be using on yourself that same energy you got for everybody else you you're just giving it away and then Pisces is fucked up and depleted and then you know also I didn't want to really in here but it can lead to victim mentality it can lead to victimhood like oh my god and not to say that Pisces is all here all the time people try to make Pisces like Pisces is just like oh my god um i everybody doing all these things to me well when you have a sign that's closely connected to its environment and when it's closely connected to the world not saying all the time because sometimes you can put things all kind of put things on ourselves but for the most part Pisces do get taken advantage of because they can feel everything. And because Pisces is such an open, mutable sign, people want to dump their shit onto Pisces. So Pisces can get, you know, manipulated and puzzled and confused. Pulls Neptune, and that's an old bag of fucking confusion bottles, you know, and bucks. So it's just like Pisces is like, I don't know. I don't, I don't even know if this is how I'm really feeling. Like, I feel this way and then I don't and then I leave and then I feel this way and I'm like what the fuck you know what I mean like I don't know so Pisces needs Pisces needs a long time you need a long time I'm not even on Pisces nor if not yet, but you need a long time to really get a sense of how you feel and Pisces and Virgo alike are going to teach you this you need you know a lot of people be like oh, you know introvert what about whatever baby i can't be all up in your energy if your energy's fucked up and best believe out of all signs of the zodiac these these two is picking your shit up you know what i mean you 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 you're picking all you're picking it all up you know virgo is here to serve the collective pisces is the collective okay so like you gotta, you gotta really teed and as much as it's soft and kind of, you know, hard as you have, sometimes you that, 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 you know, because even though it's the fish, let's be real, it's the duality of the masculine and feminine, just like um, you, uh, your, your friend Mutable Gemini over there, it can get crazy. Like people think, people, people think people sleep on Pisces because they think Pisces is just this oh. I, when a Pisces turns up on you, it's a wrap. 
It's a wrap. When a fight, when a fight just feels like it's at its last leg, G, it's a wrap, bro. Like, it's, it's like, and everybody's like, oh my God, what happened to Pisces? Baby, you went too far, right? <laughs> That's going to baby's heart. When a Pisces is mad, I let a Pisces be mad. But let me get back. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I love y'all. All right. I love y'all. I just want y'all to know. I want y'all to know that I love y'all. You know what I mean? If you talk, if you if you, if you sit on Pisces and you talk shit about Pisces, you talking shit about yourself. All right, because Pisces is the mirror. All right, it's the mirror. So whatever you're experiencing from a Pisces, guess what? The Pisces is bringing it out of you because it's a mirror, baby. Pisces sees you before you see yourself. It sees you before you see yourself. So just know your projections. We see you. Next. Anyway. <laughs> All right. Then we get into that. All right. <laughs> I love y'all. <laughs> we get into that. We get into that, but there's also another side I can ride for y'all. We gotta call it out. It's not all glitter and go to Pisces land. You know I'm saying, um, but you know this can develop codependency. All right, you know, let's get back to it. <laughs> this can definitely develop codependency. And this codependency is not always from you. This codependency of you not having these can be codependency for others they're like well if i'm telling pisces for i'm telling pisces this and pisces always stuck around every time i was trying to tell them this and they're i'm not and maybe they're uncomfortable on it and sometimes people subconsciously know because of the heart they'll onto you and keep dumping things onto you and then when you try to push away from it people get mad because they're like no you're mine or they feel like they have some type of authority over to you you've always done it but don't put up this boundary baby <laughs> you better be firm in that shit you better look to Aries and see what Aries is doing over there because Aries ain't the smoke you know what I'm saying the smoke Aries is the smoke you know what I mean so just keep that in mind all right all right and so you move from that to like I was saying the victimhood and also the martyr you know Pisces feeling like in Virgo too, but definitely Pisces. Pisces feeling like you have to save everybody. Pisces, you don't, you not, you did not come here just because you're the last sign of the zodiac and you know all these other these other signs are you, baby. This it ain't for you to fix. It ain't for you to fix. And we're gonna get into that when we get into the Virgo self note. It ain't for you to fix those 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 cards that you have been dealt. Yes, you can feel the emotions of other people, but that's not for you to try to fix and, and, and put together. Please, we stepping out of that in 2020 and beyond. You know what? Y'all funny as hell in here, yo. Y'all is funny as hell. She don't want to be saved, y'all. <laughs> y'all is silly. <laughs> y'all silly. But yes, um, so you have that. And so... Um, and then wishy-washy, you know, um, it, it definitely gets that rap along with Libra of being very wishy you know, like, I want to do this, then I don't, then I don't, but then I don't, but don't sleep, because Pisces can be very hardworking, but you need to look to your, to your opposite in order to figure out how you can manage those things, you know, because we all, we talk shit about Zodiac Sun, especially, in, you know, the astrological community and just in general we talk shit all day but at the end of the day we all can learn we can all learn some shit from each other no matter how we look at it what kind of experiences we've had with other signs and it's more to it than just your sun sign that's why i talk about this normal because there's so there's such a broad spectrum when it comes to astrology like your map what you've been what you're experiencing where you're going, you know, and and to me, it's just it's so vast and so beautiful. I could talk all day about it, but let's get the Pisces north. All right, having a Pisces, um, 
you need to understand that you were here for a bigger plan, a plan that was way bigger than you, completely bigger than you. And as you and I feel and I feel like Pisces know this at a very, but don't know how to necessarily describe it. So if you have a Pisces, um, don't let don't let this world overwhelm you to the point where you are not able to tap in. Because Pisces, Pisces was tapped before Pisces came out. Let's just be real, okay? Because Pisces has been here before. Virgo has been here before, but definitely Pisces has been here before. You know? Um, you have such a love compassion for humanity, for all, for all people. You, you, I mean, your waters run so cancer is the ocean but baby you are the spirit of the ocean Pisces at the feet all the way up Pisces rules the feet. you know what I mean so definitely Pisces Pisces in general and Pisces North Node make sure that you spend time getting your feet soaked your feet rubbed make it if you like that shit you know what I'm saying <laughs> you know what I mean if you like that if you into that you know what I mean get, get, make sure you make sure you take care of the feet so that's the, the feet is the gateway soul so make sure your feet is getting massaged love you know you're getting your feet pampered and and relaxed especially for pisces like it, it'll put pisces in a mood in their feet i know it sounds good a, a pisces when they get their feet they're like oh 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 you know what i mean <laughs> so definitely take time for that move. you know what i mean uh geared towards spirituality <laughs> I'm crazy. <laughs> I love this shit, though. I really do love this shit. And thank y'all so much for, for being here with me, because I swear to God I can talk about this shit all day. Um, but, oh, uh, yeah. So, Pisces, Pisces do come here to really dive into the depth of spirituality. Like, it's not just... Yes, yes. Put it on a make them wanna fire me. You know what I mean? Make them wanna fire me. Yeah. But yeah, you're here to learn, you know, uh, uh, your spirituality, whether that's through astrology, whether that's um, learning about different religious, uh, not even just religious cultures, but the way people do they and they own, you know, tribes or, or, or religions and being able to tie those different pieces together, connect those different pieces in order to you know, show people that we're all still one. Pisces is the integration of oneness. You know, it's, it's looking to merge. That it's looking, when it comes into it, in the note, it's looking to merge with that. I understand that that fish is not a person. The, the, the other person that comes in is just the iceberg but Pisces need to know that that other person that other half that you're searching for that other fish that you're searching for is you you are the one that Pisces is searching for so know that coming into um trust um trust the self always instead of having a fixed plan that's where the Virgo south note comes in uh, Virgo needs to know time date location where when why how who done it how done it where it's Pisces, you're going to have to understand that chaos, that there's going to be chaos, there's going to be things that you cannot explain logically because if we're talking about Virgo and Pisces, this earth, mutable and this Pisces, mutable water, this whole, Pisces lives in the spiritual realm. Virgo lives in both material and spiritual realm, but it's more focused on material things. You can't explain everything in the material realm. And because Pisces through, even though it lives in the church realm, because Pisces flow through as being a portal, there's going to be things that you see on this earth, baby, that you are experiencing on this earth that you cannot explain. And and there's something you don't need to explain. You got to explain to nobody, just know, know that you know it, and that's it. There's nothing to try to logically, you know, doing this Virgo thing of logically trying to figure out. Like, you know, you know, if, if anything, Pisces, Virgo supports Pisces and, you know, Pisces is kind of like 
like a boom, 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 you know what I mean? Like, boom, 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 boom. and Virgo's like, okay, so you're doing this. Is that what you're saying? Okay. <laughs> this is what you're saying? Okay, how can we work to make this happen? You know what I mean? What can we do to, you know, you know what I mean? You catch what I'm throwing? All right, cool. Um, and then, like I said, you need to work on being alone. Work on understanding and feeling what it is like to be alone. Because Pisces does, Pisces definitely, like I say all the time, the only reason that Pisces is introverted is because Pisces secretly loves being extroverted. Well, I should, I guess I should, but Pisces loves people. Pisces connects not only to the self, but humanity. It's people that Pisces is connected to. So Pisces loves this out with people, but Pisces gets drained very fast because, because Pisces is so open and so vulnerable. Its energy is susceptible to siphoning that shit. And there's people that know. <laughs> Let me not. <laughs> I'm so sensitive about y'all because I love you. People know because of Pisces nature that it's, it can be easy to tap into the energy of Pisces because they're, they're susceptible to catching that trip. You feel me? They're so, they can, you know, everything ain't yours, Pisces. It ain't yours. And you, so you need that alone time. You need that time to go connect to go alone and be out on your own and turn off your phone, you know, and just be so you can fucking think for yourself and, 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 and really understand where you where you at emotionally, spiritually, physically, mentally. You need that time. So you can recharge. You do go out. And we you know you amongst people and you doing your thing. You like, no, oh, like I'm good now. You know what I mean? Like I'm 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 hard. I can feel I can get you know get a sense of myself you know so so stay in that um let me see you're okay with working alone pisces is pisces pisces can work too, but pisces is just fine working alone. like pisces there's no nothing here you know i mean maybe you need to check on pisces from time to time but pisces is it pisces is good you know don't worry about it pisces is good pisces just trying to um, like I said, get out of that well life. You know, when you have a a, a pipe of no, get out of that well structured meeting things to be a certain way, very materialist and here and there and all that crazy stuff, and just be like, you know what? I'm just gonna go with the whole life and see what happens. And you'll see that when you start like kind of letting go and just kind of with the flow of things, the universe will guide you in a place you never thought you could. That you never even, you know, you ended up, for example, going to a place, you know, just off the street, not, not because you want to go or whatever the case be, but like you just go off the street and you end up meeting somebody. Let's say, you know, you are making music or something like that. You end up going to this place, you find out that they play this, they, you know, they've been traveling overseas, always wanted to travel overseas, and you like, what the fuck? They're like, yeah, I'd have been all around the world. I just got on tour. And you're like, wait, what? You know what I mean? Like, God damn. Like, you know, and y'all get to talking and I'm like, damn. And then you showing them your music, your art. And then all of a sudden they're like, so when we going to tour? And you like, bitch, what? You know what I mean? Like, so letting letting go of like me to have things planned and planned out. Fuck that. You know, when you have a party. Um, north node. Um, so when you get into a uh, Pisces or, or Virgo south node, the need to release judgment, releasing judgment, releasing the need to overly criticize and over judge everybody's needs, that and it's a double, not entendre. <laughs> I keep saying this shit, but then like not a. It's a double edged sword. We don't like that because Virgo doesn't necessarily always criticize to degrade or put down people but Virgo really does that one because it wants to help Virgo wants to help you know so sometimes it can come up really slick or really you know it 
it could come off really, you know, just kind of cut to that. Because it's just like, I'm not, I don't really know how to tell you I want to help you without telling you I'm saying and I know what I'm talking about. So definitely heed to that. And, and just that you do have a natural and when you have a south note of an inner critic. So just as while Virgo criticizing and talking shit and whatever, I feel like it knows everything about it. Know that that's what you're going to be experiencing inside. You're going to be in that 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 now already in space. Um, and just just heed that. You know, you got to focus more on being gentle with your um with your emotions. You know, just be more, a little bit more gentle with yourself in, in, in how you navigate, how you yourself, how you talk to yourself. And I'm not just talking how I'm speaking to you, but I'm talking about what's going on inside your, 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 your body. How are you speaking to yourself inside? Because another thing I want to mention, both of these signs, they are especially Pisces, Pisces and Taurus, number one. I mean, when I talk about manifestation, baby. You speak it, you write it, the spellcasters, the witches, the spellcasters. You can write some shit down, speak some shit, think about some shit. I promise you, you're going to see a manifest. So you got to be real. I mean, and, and it's, and it's uh, easier said than done, but you got to be real, real, real inclusive about how you talking to other people in your mind, speaking to yourself, speaking to other people. You got to be real choosy because that shit that's passing shit with the quickness, G. With the quickness. So you just want to make sure that you're on your game, you know what I'm saying, and you don't what you need to do to make sure that you take care of, you know, not to say that you're not going to experience negative emotions, negative emotions, because that's fake as fuck. You're going to experience negative emotions, but it's just how you channel that energy, how you ch you're channeling how you it all day. You could look at it from a more detached state of mind, I'm thinking that, but but look at it from the outside looking versus the inside on the inside. You know what I'm saying? If you if you catch what I'm putting down, you know what I mean? Of like, I'm thinking this, but redirecting that to something clear, um, um, acknowledging those emotions because Virgo like Capricorn gets so fixed in not wanting to acknowledge that it has emotions. It has that it can get very fucked up of trying to into work or dig itself distract itself into when it's not you know doing the Pisces North North like being able to feel into its emotions so yes that um doo -doo 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 -doo, needs the privacy needs space release of judgment uh spending way too much time over utilizing in the detail once again you don't have to have it all figured out you can have a vision but you don't have to have it all figured out day one week one that just give the shit time, okay please um the need to be perfect the need for perfection feeling like you have to be perfect, to be valuable you know um that's definitely a south note in in whole theme feeling like well i need to be able to master perfection or i put things out or i do these certain things or i speak or i say these certain things being so filtered that Nobody can really get to the realness, you know what I mean? And nobody can not to say that Virgo is not real, Pisces is not real, but like getting to the, the, the core, you know. And I'm not saying again, because we talked about this water that you have, this water letting everybody in, you know, but also being being uh unhinged in a sense like you're able to express yourself, express your emotions without uh, having this type of control. And there's other aspects in your chart um, that can definitely play on this. That's why I said if y'all want to read it, anything like that, let me know. Kind of, you know, look at the whole the whole spectrum. But for the most part, yeah. Releasing that inner critic um and and, and cynical attitude towards it. so yeah y'all listen that was that was all the signs north node and south node all 12 zodiac signs um my instagram is a rainstorm astrology you can see it at the top you can follow me there you can follow me on youtube um i did take a little, little some time off of you but i will be coming back with more content um i love astrology as y'all can see i swear to god i could talk about this shit all 
day. And um, when I started astrology, it wasn't really something that I felt like I could. I was like, mm, you know, because I was still struggling with my personal stuff. But I was like, man, if you're going to do it, then you better do this shit to the depth. It's like, it's my second language. You know, I, I speak, when I speak, I speak in English, but I, I speak through astrology. So it's, I love it. And I, I could definitely talk about it. Okay? And if you ever want to, you know, uh, have a consultation with me, I do do birth charts, you know, um, specifically Mars activation. So activating the things that are going and up and moving every day and initiating action in your life and all finding that with North Node and South Node astrology. So maybe if you're like, I don't really know what I was put on here to do, or I don't know what I really, you know, want to dabble into things like that. I can point you in a direction, you know, where you want to go. Um, and if you have any questions, you know, let me know. But yeah, y'all, I would thank, thank y'all. Thank, thank y'all for coming. You know what I mean? <laughs> y'all are funny as hell. <laughs> y'all is funny. I felt y'all's energy all through here, yo. Like, I appreciate y'all for coming through. Everybody who promoted, you know, a uh, virtual product, the Codex, everybody who, like, came through on it, like... Thank you. I would love to do this again sometime. I don't know what you're going to do after Pride. You know what I'm saying? Or if you have anything. Oh, I also wanted to say for those of y'all that don't know before I do go, if y'all did have any questions, um, I'm going to be starting. So I do, I do Black Lesbian Archives, but I also do Queer Black Creators. Um, and it's basically something I started. I just realized, I thought it was three years ago, but it was four years ago in Pisces season um, that I started March March 6th to be exact um, uh, four years ago and now I'm developing Queer Black Creators into a school so um, Queer Black Creators is gonna, it's still going to be you know posting the events and stuff like that um, and I'm actually working on like doing like an ad campaign so we can stop paying Instagram for promoting our shit but actually giving it back to the people that actually matter that are actually doing the work but we're not talking about that in a whole nother day and um, um, also creating a school through um, a spirituality, a healer, um, people in the community that want to teach or maybe wanted to teach uh, a class or a course or just maybe a one-off course. One, and we all kind of commune in this space. And um, you can, you know, basically doing live sessions and things like that where we talk about what you do. If anybody wants to go into class with you they can take a class with you so if you're interested in that it's still in the works i'm still kind of building it out or if you're interested in maybe on the team um let me know um i, I like i said it's still in the works i'm still trying to get some things together but i'm definitely going to pull that out sometime hopefully this year um i'm about to be investing in another laptop um and i would um uh after i get another laptop i'm going to ahead and uh putting together the um the website and stuff thank y'all thank you thank you thank you y'all are so love thank you boo. i appreciate y'all like i said hit me up a rainy storm or you can hit me up at crewmate do either it's cool you know black lesbian archives qbc productions whatever you know what i mean <laughs> and um i'm here you know what i mean we we got we got work to do man you know and and I hope that this this work, you know, definitely help you uh, push forward in the things that you need. A show. All right, y'all. Is there any more questions before I, before I drop it like that? No, no. All right. Well, y'all hit me up in my um in my uh, DMs because that's where it goes down. All right. Thank you so much once again, uh, Virtual Pride and the Codex, and all of y'all coming out. It's the rainy storm checking in, checking out. All right. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Peace, y'all. Wait, can I get off? Oh, there we go. <laughs> Peace, y'all. For real. No, for real. For real? Okay, for real. <laughs>